Well, congratulations all around. 48 hours ago, we didn't really know where we were going with this, and now we have a spectacular collection of body parts. I'm really delighted to see how this unfolded in the last day, and uh, the imagination that poured out of you, and the surprises that came, and how rich these pieces are. And so I think that uh, we're way ahead in terms of visualizing and creating the basic units of our creatures. Now comes more excitement, and that is choosing those parts that go together to create the creatures. And we, we've worked out a process to do that. And looking at what's been done, I can foresee a few structural modifications, some changes that are going to have to be made in order for the pieces to fit together. And as an example, a wonderful example, is um, Izzy's arm. And uh, it's rich with color and texture. It's uh, jointed at the middle. And But we realized that the decorations came up to the very end of the arm, and there was no real place for the arm to attach to the torso. So Izzy has added an extension, and I think we're going to have to do some of this when we start to put together these body parts. Uh, we're going to have to modify and extend so we have a place to punch a hole and put in a paper faster. And then the, the arm or the leg or the foot can move freely. So uh, we're going to have to allow some extra time, I think, to, to look at those uh, construction challenges. Now, um, once, once all the the, the parts are working, um, you, will, you will have, by that time, made the choices and we'll talk about an important element of arraying all of the pieces that we've done and instead of grabbing parts, uh, we'll all walk through and absorb all the beauty of these pieces and think about which ones perhaps we'd like to return to. and get a sense of the energy of all of the work that's gone into this. And then we'll regroup and we'll have a system for going out so everybody has a chance to choose a piece of the creature. And then the assembly begins. And then the creatures come alive. We can move on to telling our myth and first, I think, reveling in the, the beauty of these wonderful uh, mythical creatures that uh, have emerged in the last couple of days.